Hey everyone, welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be breaking a hobby box of the brand new 2020 Tops Tribute uh, set that just was released on Friday the 10th. Um, I did not do a review of this set. Um, not sure why I didn't do it, but I decided not to. Um, but what is included in a hobby box is you are guaranteed to get three on-card autographs and uh, three game-use memorabilia cards per box. There are six packs in a box and three cards per pack. It is Topps' first really true high-end set. These boxes are going for somewhere around... 274 to $300 online right now. So it's their first high-end set of the year. And with everything that's going on with the virus, it may be their last new set for a while. Bowman was due out next week, but that is going to be delayed because the printing presses have stopped. So um, Topps Tribute should be a really fun um, box to open. And without further ado, we will crack one of these and get our uh, one cent sports cards. First look at what a hobby box of Topps Tribute has to offer. Now, last year, this was one of uh, my favorite higher end sets. Um, the card design was really awesome. I actually think they've improved the card design this year. Um, they have the shadow box autos. Um, lots of different autos and relics that you can get out of this box. So we'll see what we can pull. Um, definitely some fire, definitely cards that you are going to be top loading and maybe even putting into one touches. So as we look at this, here's how the box opens, kind of a standard box. Um, and here are our six packs. Now, these cards do have a beautiful design to them. Um, so let's see what we can pull out of the new Topps Tribute. Wrapped very much like, almost like a fat pack would be in a retail. Um, and as you can see, every card has its spacer in between. So here we go. To start off, we have a beautiful, and this is what I love. They're all refractor this year. George Brett, fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful. See how thick they are. Just a beautiful, beautiful set. We'll go to the back card here, and we have a beautiful Eloy Jimenez. I love the fact that they are refractor this year. They've gone with a darker card design. Then, top it off, we will have what I think is going to be a relic, possibly a relic autograph. Let's just reveal. It's going to be one of the shadow boxes. It is out of. It is going to be numbered forty-one out of our. Yes, forty-one out of ninety-nine. Let's do this. Get ourselves a good focus here. 41 out of 99. It is a Dodgers card, and it is Walker Bueller. And this is one of the shadow box autographs that I was talking so much about. So a beautiful Walker Bueller auto. Numbered 41 out of 99. So this one, already a huge hit. Bueller, amazingly, is already what I would consider the Dodgers' ace with Clayton Kershaw on the team. Just a beautiful card with the shadow box. You can see the shadow of the auto behind it. Just a beautiful, beautiful um, card design. and. We will put this one right to a top loader. And hopefully, well, let's see here. I thought these were going to be size, but now maybe they don't want to go in. So we will see. Um, a lot of times with these bigger, see that I use the bigger penny sleeve. And sometimes those don't really work well 
Hey, you know what? I'm going to have to get bigger ones, uh, bigger top loaders, which I do have, but that one. Not one script card. So a fantastic first pack. A Walker Bueller Auto. We'll go to our second pack and see what we can get out of here. Oh, and look at this, guys. Beautiful Ernie Banks tribute. Really do love the refractor on these this year. Uh, we will skip the middle card because that is normally the hit. And we get a Walker Bueller base. That is really hard to capture on camera, but there is the Walker Bueller base. Then. We have a Brewers hit in the middle. So let's see what we get here. It is going to be a Keston Hira. Oh, Lord. This is a Keston Hira. And this is a Topps Tribute Autograph card. And this one is number 10 out of 50. So a Keston Hira. Out of 50, a beautiful, beautiful card here. And another one. Now, this one should fit into the top loader I had earlier because it is not a shadow box autograph. So this one should fit just fine. Um, imagine that. It goes right in like a glove. So a Keston Hira, which I have been on a run with Keston Hira autos. I think this is the third Keston Hira auto I have pulled. but um, And the second one for myself. So a nice Keston Hira there. Then we've got our next pack. Let's see what we can get out of here. And another retired Hall of Famer. This one. Mr. Roberto Clemente. Beautiful Clemente card. And the feel of these cards alone, they're just really high gloss. Let's see what this back card is. Another retired Hall of Famer. This one is Reggie Jackson. Nice Reggie Jackson picture with the nice uh, aviator, aviator glasses on. And then our hit is going to be a Raleigh Fingers. Oh, my goodness. And that is a Raleigh Fingers auto. And that is going to be numbered 174 out of 199. And that is a Hall of Fame Raleigh Fingers auto to 199. So our first three packs have three autos so our next ones should have three relics um and as autos go anytime you hit a hall of fame auto especially someone with the name like raleigh fingers you were in business so a nice raleigh fingers auto and now let's see if we can get some sick relic poles as well um, and see what we can get here so definitely got a relic in this one we've got Manny Machado nice one we have Ryu Ryu there. And our hit is going to be numbered. What do we got here? We've got numbered out of 138 out of 150. And this looks like it's it is going to be a dual relic. And it is a dual relic, and it is a nice one. This is a Juan Soto Victor Robles. Game use memorabilia dual patch uh, uh dual patch uh relic. We've got the gray and the nice black for Soto, and this is numbered 38 
38 out of 100. So a nice, nice Soto. And that is a thick relic right there. So we'll continue on. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think about Topps Tribute. I think it's a very nice set. The cards, I've always thought Tribute has one of the most beautiful card sets of the year. Um, and this year they went all out. So really nice. And again, we have another Hall of Famer, Edgar Martinez. Really nice one there. We've got Brandon Lau for our Rays fans. And then our hit, which is going to be out of 25, guys. This one is going to be a triple patch relic with two Yankees pinstripes. This one is number 25 out of 25. This is Aroldis Chapman triple patch relic number 25 out of 25 so an insane relic here really love that i love how they almost made the patches make the circle complete just a really 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 beautiful card here i'm gonna have to get some thicker top loaders for these the good news is i got the penny sleeves um and now we go to our last pack which this pack is thick and heavy not sure why, but we'll see what we can get in it. It looks like, for whatever reason, there are four cards in here. There isn't supposed to be, but we'll see why that is. So, we've got Dion Sanders. A beautiful Neon Dion. Plus, this back card which is a rookie card, which is going to be numbered 86 out of 450. This is a Dylan Cease rookie card. Really hard to get that name on screen. So we have a Dylan Cease. We have our Dion, which is still here. We're going to go from the back because we got a really thick... I don't know why we have four cards in here. We're going to find out. We all... <laughs> Look at that. We have a Harold Baines green. This is numbered 35 out of 99. So that is the green parallel Harold Baines. So fantastic. I have no idea whether there's four cards in this one. Uh, but there's a nice Harold Baines out of 99. Then we had our Dion. And now our last card of the box is going to be numbered out of 150. It looks like it's this way. And it's going to be a Masahiro Tanaka. And this is numbered 145 out of 150. We can get that on there. 45 out of 150. This is the stamp of approval. It's authentic game use memorabilia. Now, the reason it has that stamp, we got another Yankees pinstripe in there. The reason it has this stamp, uh, you can actually put that number in, and it will tell you that the, the I'm pretty sure it tells you the game that it was used in. Um, I pulled one of those last year for Buster Posey, and it was in a Memorial Day game where they were where they were wearing their Memorial Day uniforms. So that was pretty cool. So we'll have to look this one up. But that is a Masahiro Tanaka relic, numbered one forty five out of one fifty. So you guys, um, we're running our subscriber giveaway right now, where you can win five great prizes. Um, you can win a Ronald Acuna rookie junior, uh, a Ronald Acuna junior rookie card. You can win a Michael Chavis uh, auto rookie card numbered to 150 out of Bowman's Best. You can win a whole box of Gypsy Queen, a uh, whole bunch of stuff that you guys can win. So if you have not entered that, there is a link in the video description below. Definitely check that out and be sure to get into the giveaway. Um, and also comment below. Let me know what you think about Topps Tribute this year. I think it is a fantastic set. 
albeit expensive. Um, but when you pull a Raleigh Fingers, a Keston Hira, and a Walker Bueller rookie uh, or Walker Bueller auto, um, I think that the price is justified. And so with that, guys, uh, definitely comment below. Let, let me know what you think. I hope you guys are home safe. I hope you guys are ripping fire out of your packs. And with that, I'm going to sign off, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.